Adriana Moraes is a PhD candidate at UKZN and she's recently applied to be a part of the reality TV show Mars One. This show is going to send a group of people to colonize Mars in 2024 and the craziest thing about this is that they're going there on a one-way ticket. So Adriana, why don't you tell me why did you apply for this show? It seems so crazy. The moment I read the article saying that applications would be open for the expedition in the paper, um, I got this kind of sick feeling in my stomach. The kind of sick feeling that goes when you know you have to do something. So it was almost like something that I knew I had to do rather than something I, I wanted to do. I actually pictured my whole life having led up to that moment. <laughs> okay. When you were growing up, did you ever think that you would actually go to outer space? Yeah, quite often actually. <laughs> really? Um, as a child, I imagined, uh, like a child would, that we don't know what's out there. And I imagined myself getting into a rocket that couldn't turn around but only go straight. And I imagined myself sitting in this rocket until forever. I had the idea that you could carry on forever if you were in a rocket and that I would either find another planet or not. And I would keep going forever and yeah, I would be prepared to do that. That's what I decided as a child. So <laughs> this is almost uncannily similar. <laughs> Okay, well, it's a one-way ticket. What does that feel like? I mean, once you go there, you're never coming back. What? Tell me how that feels. Knowing that you can't come back will probably only be something you'll really understand when you're there. But for now, I think it's such a grand idea and such a beautiful idea that this project will be a project that all of humanity shares and probably the most important project that we've ever embarked on. And I think that that achievement is enough for me to sacrifice whatever kind of day-to-day -day life I may have had on Earth. What is going to be the one thing you miss the most from Earth? Yeah, being able to have a big group of friends, for example, which you can, you know, just visit them and have a chat face-to-face. -face. So you'll only have a small group of people on Mars, of course, it'll grow. Um, steak and wine, as I understand, may be hard <laughs> to get on Mars. <laughs> um, <laughs> Swimming will not be possible on Mars. Yeah, feeling the wind on your skin will not be possible on Mars. So I think yeah, all of the things about yeah, having a wide social circle to have contact with would be the things I miss the most, of course, family and friends. But also nature, being able to touch. You can't, like, I don't think you can expose your skin to the Martian atmosphere, so you're not going to have that tactile sense of being able to, you know, sit on the beach and run the sand through your fingers. So. Okay, well, take me through this. Once you get up there, you're going to have to wear a protective suit, a space suit, if you will. Um, how does that work? Yeah, so apparently within the living quarters, you'll be able to walk around in fairly normal clothing. I'm not sure what they will <laughs> envisage for that. But once you're outside of the living quarters, then you will need a suit um, because of the cold temperatures and also the lack of oxygen. What do your family and friends think of this whole expedition? My parents... Um, were silent for the first few minutes after I told them, but now that it's gradually sinking in, I think they're excited, um, a, a bit worried about you know whether the about the logistics and whether the project can actually be successful or not. But I think mostly, yeah, they're excited for me. Of course, they're not happy about the one-way nature of the trip. But yeah, as I've said before, they likened this adventure to the one that our ancestors embarked on. Um, kind of the French who came from France, not ever planning to return because there was a huge a war going on in France, so they didn't have an option to return. They came to South Africa also on a one-way ticket. And um, the other side of the family came from Germany without having enough money to go back. They came also out of dire circumstances on a one-way ticket to South Africa. So this, it's, yeah, it's unique in its distance from Earth, but maybe not in its nature. Okay, you mentioned to me earlier before the show that you have a boyfriend. What does he think of this? Um, he's proud of me and I'm very brave and he hopes I discover something. But of oh, course, uh, we're both kind of devastated <laughs> that if it goes through, we might be separated. Um, although apparently they will have follow-up applications available, so if it becomes a colony, there will be more and more people being able to go. We're all dying to know this. Adriana, do you believe in aliens? Um, I'm not sure whether there would be any life as we know it in the solar system now because scientifically you can look at the kind of environments that exist and say that the life on Earth would not survive there. But I think it's 
an extremely exciting research prospect to be looking for evidence of life that existed previously on Mars. And do you have to go through any kind of physical training for this show? Yes, yeah, so the training consists of, I suppose, learning the actual skills that you would need to survive on Mars, like repairing the equipment, um, farming the food that you need to eat. Um, yeah, so physically, I think you are also in a low gravity um, planet, you need to exercise a lot more to keep your muscles in the shape that they would be on Earth normally. So there's physical aspects of it. Um, psychological training as well, I think there would be periods of isolation apparently where they check whether you would be psychologically suited to this kind of mission where you might not see anyone else except those three people for quite a long time. So the training is quite diverse, I think, yeah. All right, well, you've made your application and you've made the first cut. When do you find out if you've made the final group that goes off to Mars? What is happening now is that we have to submit our medical reports by early March, after which I think they would have sold the TV rights and they will have a program outlined once they've done that for what will happen next. But as I understand, there will be um, so further rounds of elimination up until the end of 2015 at which point they will choose, I'm not sure whether it's 24 or 40, I've read different. And before we let you go, tell me one thing. What's the one thing you're looking forward to about colonizing Mars? I think putting on the suit on the first day, putting on some music inside the suit, and walking out onto a landscape where no human has ever set foot before and discovering whatever there is to be discovered. I'm not sure which song I would play. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's I to you by David Bowie.